Here I am today in the uh, polycarbonate greenhouse. It's well insulated as you've seen from previous videos. Behind me we have the uh, onion pips sown back in mid-December. They're doing really well. They'll be coming out tomorrow um, based on the sand bed, on, on a sand bed. Uh, the will be an HP sodium light. The greenhouse temperature will be kept so it doesn't go below 10 in here, which will be just right for them. That in turn will give me space in my in the propagator for my red onion 250 gram onion seeds, which will be uh, set off tomorrow as well. So uh, onwards and upwards, everybody. Hope uh, everything's going well. Just about to uh, sow my uh, Red Rover 250 gram size onions. I'm going to use this compost. It's uh, soil and peat based. It's very sandy, as you can see. I'm going to use this uh, seed tray. And I'll put 18 directly into those uh, pots, which I've used before, disinfected them and using them again. Normally I uh, sow them in a small, these onion seeds in a small tray and then prick them out. Obviously uh, you don't get any spaces then, uh, which I may get, the odd one may not germinate, but I'm not overly worried about that. I'm more I'm just trying to concentrate on getting a good root structure and hopefully these will come out of there as nice little plugs. We shall see. Then I'm going into this propagator and the, uh, those pips have come out. And that'll be set at 17 degrees C for the uh, seed to germinate. As you can see, uh, onion seeds pretty small. Nice uh, even uh, size seed. Uh, a little hole, no more than a few millimeters deep, in the center of the plug, which is where the seed will go. Just smoothing over after I've dropped the seed in. I shall do that on each one. And I think I'm going to just sprinkle a light bit of vermiculite. Vermiculite. That didn't come out very well. A little bit of vermiculite over the top. And then I shall put them in a tray just to soak through from the bottom. And then we'll be ready. Into the propagator go the uh, red onion seed. I always sow a lot more than I need. So, uh, we eat everything. I find it's nice to be able to just plant the strongest plants. Often I'll give away a few plants to friends so they don't get wasted. Propagator's set at 17 for those. The lights are off now, but I'll keep a close eye on from about five days onwards. Once the seeds pop through, then the lights will go on. Probably 12 hours a day just till they're all up. And a little burst of longer than that to get them going. And then back to 12 hours a few weeks after that. So uh, as I move uh, the onions onto this sand bed that you can see there, just giving them a little watering from the bottom. But also 
from this point on it's very important for exhibition onions to plan, spend plenty of time on keeping them straight because we want particularly this it's the bit at the bottom there that needs to be straight now you can see with this one it's got a little bit of a bend so I shall solve that simply by putting this between and there we are so that will just hold it a little bit straighter so as it, as it grows more it should grow out a little bit straighter and I shall do this with all that, uh, that need that to be done to them you will get the odd one that may have a bit of a kink that's just too much and they'll go on the cool list also if you look closely these are pips and you can see the uh, outer shell of the pip is now coming away slowly occasionally I might assist them it's particularly if it's a larger one and it's a bit of, bit of dampness in there by opening it up and then going under the uh, metal halide light that'll help dry that out so that there's no risk of uh, creating any problems to the uh, onion. Just showing you here one of the better plants. This is the sort of thing that I'm uh, looking for, aiming at. It's nice and straight. The leaves are growing well. You can see them shooting out the middle there. Very pleased. My helpers, just come see what's going on. So, there's all the uh, onion pips set up on the sand bed. light above should just be able to see those moving slightly because we have a uh, fan just adding some air that's on a timer just come on for half an hour every few hours make sure we've got a bit of movement of air it won't come on as many times during the night because I have a fan a heater fan set on the floor that will kick in if the temperature goes below 10 So, onwards and upwards.